everyone. Coach Sullivan here again with MJS Coaching Football. To my subscribers, I thank you. Non-subscribers, I hope I can tease you into pushing that button. I just completed my 38th year coaching football this past fall. I was a defensive coordinator. But over that time, I've also been an offensive coordinator, special teams coordinator, longtime head coach, and all of this at both the collegiate and high school levels. In this presentation, I'd like to talk to you about our match quarters variation that we call gray three versus what we call Ohio, double out concept, right? O-O, double out. We use, here you go, not subscribe is freebie. We use state names, and then we teach the kids how the state name correlates with the two-man route concept, okay? So over here are the key terms. And then I'm going to take those key terms and bring them to life over here in the diagram and show you how we would defend against this two-man route concept. Again, double out, we call Ohio, okay? So the first key term is surface, right? To us, the surface is the offensive line. And when there's a tight end, tight end becomes a part of the surface on that side. So tight end tackle, guard center, guard tackle, that is the surface, it gives you run, pass, and direction, okay? All of our defenders are reading that surface. So I want to tell you right now, instead of me saying every single, you know, eight times for the eight pass defenders, surface two, right? Surface. <laughs> That's where we start. So the surface, at least at the ineligible offensive lineman, tackle to tackle, they are showing high hat. Pass, pass set, or whether it's hot or soft set, doesn't matter for this presentation, all right? So that's number one surface. Number two is our mantra. Read number two, he tells you what to do. Read number two, he tells you what to do. And in this case, number two is running an out at 10 or more yards. So it's a deep out. So it starts off as a vertical, and then it busts the out. So we'll show you how we, we compensate for that, okay? So number three, what this two-man route concept is, is to double out. It's at different levels, okay? And depending on the arm strength of the quarterback, will determine typically what the, the route depths are, okay? And so this is not a sprint out. This is straight drop, three-step, you know, or in the gun, just get the ball and throw. We're not as likely with a 10-yard, but get it. Maybe take one step, set your feet, throw it on timing, okay? That's what makes this a little bit different for us, okay? It's not a sprint out or a boot. Number four, and the reason I pick 11 personnel in formation, so non-subscribers have to push the button, is I can show you the two different techniques for the two different outside linebackers. The first one, number four, is detached, so he's going to be out in space, okay? Nothing to do necessarily with the letter D. Okay, that's our dime, non-subscribers freebie but he's gonna expand balance that's running back two crosses running back two crosses okay now number five the attached outside linebacker is the guy in the tight end okay so he's got one more thing to do knock back <laughs> always getting the hands on that tight end <laughs> everything starts with that so for him it's knock back expand balance running back two crosses okay so for that reason, it's why I show you an 11 formation. Now, number six, here's the variation in our match quarters. The boundary and the free, the field, right, the two corners, they got number one man. And I'm going to show it to you in off, but we can also do it in press, okay? So then number seven, our two safeties, whip and free, they're going to have man over 10 on number two, which is... The same as our base match quarters, gray four, okay? And then last but not least, our inside linebackers, number eight, it's the exact same as our match quarters, gray four, our base. Running back two, mirror the cue. Running back two, mirror the cue, right? Because number two is vertical to them. Nine subscribers. So now over here, we're going to have to bring this all to life for you. So let's start off with what is meant by gray three versus gray four, right? Well, gray is we're in quarters. When we tag a number, it's now match quarters. The number tells us how many defenders are reading and reacting off a of number two. 
So when it's gray three, okay, it is the safety outside and inside linebackers on this side. Okay, remember, corner has number one. On this side, inside, outside, safety, right? So they're reading that number two. They're reading that number two. Now, it's important to note, this is not a split coverage, but the two sides operate independently from one another. Okay, and you'll see that built in, crossers, okay? It's not usual to have the exact same route concepts on both sides. I'm just doing it so you can see, right, the two different outside linebacker techniques, corners, inside linebackers, and safeties. Everything stays the same. But you could have Ohio on one side and, and have, like, Dakota on the other, okay? So it's one coverage, but it operates independently. Just had to make sure we understand that. And so, sorry, because... Our two corners have one man. This is nine on nine football. And that's how we coach it up. So I'm going to go through the corner technique first. And then I'll show you how when we first introduce, it's the second coverage in our install. Grade four is first, grade three is second. Right, this is just a variation, but it's hard for an off the quarterback to figure out. Right, he's got to do a post snap. Okay, I'm going to show you how we teach it and install, whether it's spring, preseason. Okay, both. So let's start off with the corners for that reason, right? They're showing our usual alignment. I've said it a million times. Our alignment's out of sky, so they're outside, hips slightly turned in, right? <clears throat> Back foot is 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 back. So they hip, so they can walk, pedal, butt the boundary, all the things that they normally do. So they're reading surface. However, on the snap of the football, they're stemming inside. And then they're executing any and all man principles. So if they're playing an off man, they're executing off man principles. If they're in press, They'll start outside press, zone press, stem inside, right? Again, everything sh show the same. And then as the receivers look in, the, the corners are taught us on the QB indicator, snap indicator, when the stem. Then they play pure man principles from press, okay? So this is what we do, right, when we install it. Okay, so now, gentlemen, these guys are out of the picture. It is 9 on 9 football now. Whoa! Okay? So that's what we mean by the three. These three are reading and reacting to two. And so now what I'm going to do in red is draw up on both sides the Ohio concept, the double L. So see, one's already done. He ran the, the shorter route. So here's number two. Right? 10 plus, here's number two, 10 plus. So as I mentioned before, this, depending on quarterback's strength of arm, that could be a 15 yard out. It's usually not less than 10 because then it's you're going to have like a two or three yard out. They got to have separation, right, the levels. So it's usually 10 is the shallowest of the deep out, or it might go, you know, we see the deepest would be 15. I mean, we're not talking NFL Alabama quality, right? 20 yard. We're not talking that. We're talking, you know, Division two, II, Division three, college football, high school football. That's that's a normal standard quarterback arm throw. Okay, and obviously it depends on ball in the hash, middle of the field, all those things. Okay, so now took care of the corners. Gonna go back up to. The outside linebackers. I'm going to first show you the attached here on the left. All right. So the he has knocked back first. And of the 11 positions, he is locked in to the tight end. And, and on, the, on the movement, he's always shooting hand, knocking back, right? Fistful of tight end. He's going to hear his buddy defenders screaming pass. So then he's taught. You hold on to him, keep your feet moving hot. As soon as you start to turn, you let him go so we don't get called for holding. 
Okay. So that's the knockback. He hears pass, lets him go. When he expands, okay, two's vertical. Then he's going to balance up. It's always expand. Even though one's not there, you expand because if two goes out, right? Aha, not subscribers. So then from the balance, running back first, crosser is number two coming from the opposite side. Okay, number two coming from the opposite side. So the only difference now between attached and detached, he doesn't have any knockback. Surface, he expands, he's going to balance, he sees the vertical. Same thing, running back two, looking for number two coming across, because that's all you have to worry about. And then the safeties, zit step, walk pedal, walk pedal, walk pedal, right? Tempo, match the tempo of the receiver. And then he's hits 10, becomes man over 10. And you got to clamp down on that thing hard because you don't have a corner sinking underneath, right? He's not there. Same thing over here. Walk, walk. Man over 10. Again, zone leverage is on top. He's in front of you. You're on upfield shoulder. You look, you can see the quarterback. Okay? So then that leaves us with the inside linebackers. Okay? Both. Pivot to two, two's not to them, right? There you go, freebie not subscribers. They pivot back. So now, right, let's say the running back, I'm going to draw it in black, is flaring to the mic. You have a rover available to go get him. So he's going to pivot. As he starts to go get the back, he's going to see same color chasing it. He's going to now balance up. Okay, and if he doesn't and he goes and gets him, that's fine. Don't criticize the kid for doing it. Why'd you do it? Didn't you see the then the kid's head spin and they, they won't play fast. Right? If nothing else, you got that covered. Because, right, running back two or mirror the cue, back goes this way. Mirror means spy, so he's spying the quarterback. We use the term mirror. We want the, the linebacker, so when the quarterback's looking, he sees the linebacker in his mirror. That's why we use the term. Wherever the quarterback sets up, you're right across from him. Okay, so you got a three-man rush with a fourth spy. What we ideally would like from the linebacker in grade three, back two on this, if he's in the pattern, is to execute. A key rush, which would mean he's going to add to it. And since the back's not in protection, he's literally going to, it's now a four-man rush with a spy. If the guard locks on to something like the nose, you're going to have a free rush, right? So if you got an experienced inside linebacker, he's going to know automatically that the outside linebacker is available. But when you got new kids, inexperienced kids, or they're just struggling, let them go chase and have two guys on the back. That's okay. Because you still got your spy with the mirror linebacker. All right? So as I said at the beginning to my subscribers, I thank you, non-subscribers. I'm hoping I teased you enough to push in that button. Anybody questions, please reach out to me, Coach MJ Sullivan at gmail.com. Love to chat football with you. I'd like to thank you for watching MJS Coaching Football, and I'd like to thank YouTube for providing this platform.